Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT. It's time for round 35 of the Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sport. We'll be racing on on Auto Dual de Interlagos for 11 laps and we'll be using Group 1 prototype cars. So this is going to get everything ready to be able to get started. So let's just going to choose the best prototype car that might be suitable to be able to take the best challenge we might get in. And then this is going to get everything will be ready to get everything started. So maybe this is going to be able to, to take the best choice we might be able to have all wheel drive prototype cars. So this is going to get everything will be ready to be able to take a lot of turbocharged pace that this one might be ready for. So looks like maybe let's just going to go and get ready to use the Toyota TSO 50 Hybrid 2016. And this will might get everything will be able to go fast to be able to take the balance of performance. Will might go on for a good balance of 100% that this one might be able to go for racing medium tires that this is going to get everything will be ready. Now looks like this is going to get prepared to do it. So before if you really want watching this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to this channel and check out some more videos if you want. So this one might be giving the entertainment will might do support. All right, let's go and get ready to get started for one good prototype race. And this is going to get everything to go fast and go quick. Now this is going to get everything will be ready because this is going to be able to take the top challenge will might going in. So let's just going to be able to get started because everything is going to be able to take the corners. We might be able to go in to be able to take a good WEC race that this one might go in to be able to get started out for. So let's just going to go and be started. And then this is going to be able to take a lot of fast laps that this one might go around for only a minute and 20 seconds. So good thing that this is going to be able to take the best recommend practice that this one might be able to go in. All right, here we go. This is going to get everything will be started because this is going to get everything will be worked hard to be able to achieve the fast lap that this one might be able to take a lot of practice that this one might get in. All right, so the catch is definitely might be pretty challenging to be able to take the first turn to be able to go for a little downhill turn. So it will might do properly that this is going to be able to take the inside turns will might go in and even that this is going to be able to take the straightaways that this is going to be able to take before approaching in onto the flying corner. That will might take everything by further notice that this might be able to go in by the apex because giving one successful speed to race up and then this is going to be able to take strategies that this is going to be able to coming in to be able to be prepared. So just going to make sure just go fast and not take it nice and steady because this is going to get everything will be worked hard that this is going to be able to go by professional because this is going to get everything will might be ready to be able to take the challenge will might go in. So it will might take 11 laps around the track. So good thing that the racing medium tires that this is going to be able to have the best option that we need to get. Okay, looks like this is going to be able to take 20 second rush that this is going to be with going in. So let's just going to go in straight to the finish until this is going to be able to have the clock ticking that this is going to be able to coming in. Okay. That should probably going in by the standard start. Just going to be able to try to beat the record. This is all about taking progress folks. This could take plenty progress of any turns that this is going to be able to go by the apex. Because everything go by the skills of a pro. This is going to be able to take a little bit more time that this is going to be able to go by the rush. Okay. Just going to keep it going and then just going to make sure this is going to get everything well directed to be able to take one straight approach that this is going to be able to take that turn going on the upper right. Double hairpins are definitely might be pretty tricky for a prototype car so do the best you can. This is going to get everything well steady to be able to stay on the pace that this is going to be able to going in by long. Now, let's just going to have to take plenty much more inside turns if we have to be able to do it correctly that this is going to be able to go by the risk. Okay, that should do it. Now, just going to have to make one good speed to be able to race up to be able to make good focus on for it.
Okay, almost. Just gonna be able to give it one good achievable lap time that this might go well and then improve lap time. So just gonna have to keep focusing to be able to make for a minute and 20 seconds by the time. Okay, just gonna keep it going and then this is gonna be able to take the gap distance we might be able to deal up ahead because this is gonna be able to take the strong risk we might have. Okay, even if possible, because this is gonna be able to take a little advantage that this is gonna might need to take a lot of pressure that this will might stay on hold. Okay, that should do it. And now, just gonna have to stay on hold and then gonna have to deal with the hairpins. It's gonna get very tougher to get. Okay, pretty close call and now this is going to be able to take a little bit more time. Okay, that should do it. Now, just going to have to land this apex and then going in. Now, this is going to get perfectly that this might give a better gap distance that this is going to be able to take. Okay, just almost there. Just going to have to keep going for at least few seconds by the decimal that this is going to be able to have it all for. Okay, now every time that this is going to be able to take the perfect clean race that this one might need to get, because this is going to be able to take the pressure that this one might be able to keep raising up some more speed that this is going to be able to have it all for. Okay, but make sure don't lose any grip or balance. This is definitely important if we have to be able to have to take a good perfect lap time that this one might be able to go in to achieve it. Okay, now let's just gonna be able to start over for a new lap time again. Now this is gonna get everything real properly that this one might have. Okay, keep pushing and then this is going to be able to do an excellent steady position that this is going to be able to go in. Okay, going to make it a little bit harder up ahead, so different conditions are definitely in good in use, so this is definitely might be very good to be able to have a nice sunset. Alright, let's go in and then this has to be able to do it right. Okay, this is going to be doing well, so just going to be able to decrease the gap distance until this mode might be able to go on the blind corner up, he up ahead. Okay, so now this is how losing up the grip while in the flying corner is going to be very tougher to be able to, have to take. So it's going to be able to do it partially that this is going to might need to take a little bit of focus. Okay, only a minute and 30 seconds left to go. This is going to be able to get ready to join in session of the race. Now, this is going to get prepared. Alright, keep it going and then this is going to be able to take a little bit more patient time that this is going to be able to have it all for. Keep practicing some more and you do it right because this is going to be able to work excellent to be able to take it all for. Take some more speed and then this is going to be able to get excellent. We might do properly. We might get in. Okay. Just going to have to give a warm up time that this is going to be prepared for. So, five lap practice done and now this is going to get everything. We'll be able to take plenty more time. Okay. Now, everything is going to get everything. We might be ready to take a good prototype race so good thing that we take the, the Le Mans race because we did a good job since the 24 hours of Le Mans for this year so looks like this is going to be able to have a best timing to be able to keep keep on racing and stay cool for one good LMP1 prototype race car that this is going to get everything well popular made to be able to take it in for. Okay 
let's just gonna go and get started. So let's begin the match, and then this is gonna be able to wait until this is gonna be able to get well qualifying, verifying time that this one might be ready. I hope this is gonna get very good to be able to get started for. So that was pretty quick that this one might start out on fourth place and then looks like this is going to get everything will be ready. Now this is going to get very challenging. Will might be able to take it all. Will might get quick and very challenging. So maybe this is going to get everything. Will might be able to have another good three type group one race that this one might be prepared. So looks like XJR9 is definitely might be going stronger for a group C car. So as part of for the LMP1 team that this is going to get everything ready and Vision GT cars has do the same so this is going to be able to take one good running time that this is going to be able to be ready so get ready to get started and then good thing that this is going to be able to take a lot of good skills we might be able to be ready all right Let's go and get ready for having another warm up time until this one might be prepared to be able to go in. So, looks like this is going to be able to take the pit stop that this one might be able to go in. Take some few curve pit lane entry on the exit. Will might do perfectly. Will might get started. Alright, here we go. This is going to get everything work faster and then look at the flying corner because. This is gonna get very challenging. We might get prepared for it. All right, Rohawk 2 is here once again for another race, and then this is gonna be able to have a Group One car that this is gonna be able to have a best choose. Okay, now looks like everything is gonna be a little bit slower, and then always gonna might need to work faster, and then this is gonna be able to keep up the pace. Okay. All right. Oh man. Sorry about that, Rohawk 2. Just trying to be able to get a well control for it. So, well, definitely that this is going to be very good. They bring in the Porsche 919 hybrid for the race. So, maybe this is going to be able to have a good friendly competition for this race if we might be able to get started. Okay, take that first turn and then this is going to get everything well cautioned to be made. Well, even the best choice for an all-wheel drive hybrid prototype car that this is definitely might be pretty good suitable choice we might have. So, mid-engine prototype car are definitely might be pretty stronger in advance since the 2000s or probably from the 1980s to 2000s that are definitely might be pretty good stronger prototype car that might be good for a mid-engine. Alright, let's go and get ready for one good qualifying time to be ready. Now, this is going to get everything will be prepared because this is going to get very challenging. We might take the risk. So, let's just going to go and pit out and then curb onto the turns and then just going to be able to do proper ways that this is going to be able to get. Alright, let's go. This is going to be able to take that prototype car that this is going to be able to go max up to be able to go in. Now, just going to be able to make sure the sunset condition is definitely might be pretty brighter to be able to get. So, let's just going to be able to do it and then this is going to get everything will be excellent that this one might have it all to be ready. Okay, so looks like this is going to get pretty tougher that this is going to get everything closer to get. Alright. There you go. Can't believe it. This is going to be able to take a little bit slow and steady, but most of the other racers doesn't, doesn't like slow cars while taking the turn. That will might get everything needs to do a lot of work. All right, there you go. Now, looks like that was definitely might be able to go fast and quick until this is going to be, might need to take the qualifying time. Will might get started out for. So, 
everything we might be prepared for one tough strategy that we might be able to go in now looks like this is going to be able to take a very struggle risk if i could see any players that definitely might be having a little problem with a group one car so gonna need to do a lot of work now always gonna have to take the progress we might be able to keep it going to be able to take some time so it's all about concentration that this is gonna be able to have lives matters okay gonna take it in now looks like this is gonna get pretty excellent and then this is gonna get everything will be ready to be able to take plenty of turns and then just gonna keep going on the throttle that this is gonna get very advanced to be able to go hard okay that should do it now looks like gonna have to take the record that this is gonna be able to take some progress time to go in so looks like very good to be able to choose a hybrid race car that this is going to be able to take a strong amount of fuel so maybe this is definitely might be very good to be able to take a single race without a pit stop would be needed so just going to be able to keep reminding check that if possible so just going to be able to make sure okay king sit sit set a new qualifying time so this is definitely might be going in on to the top three Alright, looks like everybody is going tied up on the ropes and then this is going to be able to work fast and quick. Okay, that should do it. Can't believe it that the cone just cleared off on it, so we just definitely need the cones for having one perfect turn. Okay, now, looks like just going to give it a little bit of time. Okay. Definitely might be pretty surprising. Okay. Now, looks like definitely might be going a little bit contested to be seen here. Well, just gonna have to keep a little bit more time. Okay, this is gonna be able to take good fast time for it, so this has to be able to go again. Well, Definitely the cones just went knocked off on it. We just definitely need it as the main queue. Okay, just gonna keep going and then this is gonna be able to take five minutes and 20 seconds of the time that this is gonna be able to get ready because looks like everything is gonna have to keep practicing some more. So this is gonna be able to take strong grip that this is gonna get everything will be made. So it's going to be able to do one fast quick race and then this is going to get everything worked up. So it's going to get everything has to be able to take some time and then just going to have to do the perfect direction that this is going to be able to take the turns we might get in. And then this is going to get everything stronger that this one might go by the wrist. Okay, perfect turn and now just going to going in. Okay, successful handling and then just gonna have to keep going and then looks like Adam K2009D just left the race and now looks like he just definitely wants to go for another time. Three point entries available so one's currently in use and the others are definitely and the other two are not open so good thing that this is gonna be able to have a well proper organized time that this one might be ready. Okay, sixth place is going to be able to going in by the start, so... Oh man. Very loosened up on it. Snap Tornade just definitely passed by while I'm just trying to be able to attempt to recover. Okay, just going to take some of the time and then... Well... Just gonna be able to look out on the wall, if possible, that might be having a collision occur. Okay, 
three minutes and 20 seconds. Now, looks like this is gonna be able to have enough time and then just gonna be able to go to the pit stop as possible. So maybe it's just gonna be able to go for one time for use. So maybe this is gonna be able to have everything will be ready. Time to call out the pits that this one might be able to call in. Okay, just gonna be able to go entering in the perfect directional and then this is gonna be able to go in. All right, good thing that this is gonna be able to have good view recommend that this bull might be able to have a good reminder check for it. So only in the race final only, so just gonna be able to be sure. All right. Have enough time and then this is gonna get everything we might be ready for. Time to go back again and then let's go for another run. Okay, so contestantly out on sixth place that this is gonna be able to go in by the start. All right, let's go and get back. Now, looks like everything is going to be quite very efficient made that this is going to be able to stay strong and then just going to give a lot of extra speed that this is going to be able to coming in. Okay. Hope this is going to be able to get one good pup on TSO 50s if this is gonna, definitely might be coming in for it. So, Yellow Black just called in and then finally attempted to recover. Just gonna be able to take some time until this is gonna be able to resume the lap time that this will be needed to get the rush. Okay, seven place that this is gonna be able to take some time. All right, let's go. This is where also might be able to climb up and this is gonna be able to take a lot more speed. Okay. Try to be very careful. This is gonna be able to take it all for it. Oh man, that's a bad turn. That was definitely distracted. Okay, looks like ignoring the track limit that this is gonna be able to make sure the penalty is definitely might be coming in for. Well, does anybody else have a problem with the handling skills of every race? Well, clearly, just gonna be able to call it. Nothing else happened. Well then, okay. Let's just gonna be able to have to take a little bit of time to be able to keep it well focused to be able to maintain. Okay, 15 seconds on the time. Now, looks like this is gonna be my needed to be able to get everything ready. Okay, just trying to be able to make sure, give a little bit of patient time that this will be needed. So, overtime already starts now. This is gonna be able to take a minute and 35 seconds on the time comes forward. So, this is gonna be able to work fast and quick. Okay, just gonna stay strong and then this is gonna be able to coming in. All right, looks like Qualifying finish and then maybe this is going to be able to, to be very much careful. Well, unfortunately, that was embarrassing. Now, this is how it happens because we just really don't want to get any mistakes because good thing that they just finish in, in the race in one piece because this will might consider to be able to have penalty occur. So let's try to be careful because this is definitely really don't want to go reckless on this one. But well, looks like this is gonna get very challenging that this is gonna be able to work fast. And okay, looks like 908 HDI Team Fresh Yacht is now definitely might be taking the lead by the head start. So looks like this is gonna be quite very excellent for a strong LMP1 race car that this will might be ready for. Now, this is definitely might be doing quick and doing fast, so Looks like this is gonna get everything will be ready to be able to start this race and then this is gonna be quite very challenging and then maybe this is gonna be able to take the outcome for results for it. So 
All right, lucky for the two drivers, Patroy 205 and Pigman 69 has bringing out the Audi R18 Le Mans 2011. So looks like very lucky rare card to be able to bring out for the track. All right, qualifying done, and now results are in checked. Now, this is going to be very prepared for a one top 11 lap challenge. So this is going to be able to go drive quickly and drive fast, and then this is going to be able to go easy on the first turn because this is going to be able to do the best we can because this is going to get everything will be ready. We might get started out on this one. So I hope that this is going to be able to, have to take a good idea for this race. So let's just going to have a good clean race for a prototype race car event. And looks like only 18 drivers are definitely left standing to be able to get started for this race. So let's just going to be prepared for this one best challenge that this is going to be able to get ready. So looks like let's just going to go fast and go quick. And then here we go. Let's get started. Let's just going to have the best of luck to all of you. And then here we go. Here we are, it's round 35 of the Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sport. So this is going to get everything will be ready for a prototype race. So let's go and get started. So first up is Deadhead 75420 for the Peugeot 908. Second place is NASCAR Nate 89 for the Porsche 919 Hybrid. Third place is Nick Eater 2017 for the Porsche 919. Fourth place is Trincha Parisa 96 for the TSO 30 Hybrid. Fifth place is Empal 2306 for the TSO 50. Sixth place is LCR Cake Crusher for the Peugeot 908. Seventh place is X Gideon X for the TSO 50 Hybrid. Eighth place is King Sip for the Porsche 919 Hybrid. Ninth place is Roadhog 2 for the TSO 30 Hybrid 2012. 10th place is Crazy Cap 78 for the TSO 30 Hybrid. 11th place is myself for the TSO 50 Hybrid 2016. 12th place is Socialista for the Porsche 919 Hybrid. 13th place is Patroloid 205 for the Audi R18 Le Mans 2011. 14th place is Pigment 69 for the Audi R18 Le Mans variant. 15th place is Sierra 2145 for the Porsche 919. 16th place is Sudius N30 for the Mazda L55 Vision GT. 17th place is Nuts for the Bugatti Vision GT Group 1. And 18th place is Alfaro for the Alpine Vision GT 2017. Now brace yourselves because this is going to be able to have a one fast Group 1 event. And this is going to take it all for 11 laps and this will might be able to take the rolling start. Will might go in. Best of luck to all of you and best of all the prototype race cars. Will drive fast and drive quick. And this is going to get everything will might get started. So here we go. Green light is on the start. This is going to get everything will be ready to be able to take the fast paced race that this is going to be able to go in for the higher limit. Now this is going to get everything will be better closer to be made. So. Looks like this is going to get everything will be challenging for it and oh looks like almost had it for, for the start of this turn because this is going to get everything a little bit harder to get in there and looks like the yellow flag just called in and then this is definitely might be very easily careful to be able to make sure to stay on track and then this is going to get everything will be well risked to be able to get there. But I can't believe it this race is going to be quite very tougher to be able to go in by the clean race but it is going to be pretty tougher to get. 
Now, let's just gonna be able to keep it well focused and stay steady on this one. This is gonna get very challenging that this is gonna be able to drive quickly to get. Now, looks like this is gonna get everything. Will Mike keep it well focused to be able to take on the double hairpins? This is very concentrated that this is gonna be able to go in, by the way. And then this is gonna get everything slower and gets. The harder it will might be able to take the strong turns we might get there because this may be a serious race to be able to drive quick since the Le Mans race and then this is going to be able to take on the Auto Sumo de Interlagos track that this is going to be able to have a nice sunset condition that this is going to be able to coming in. Now LCR K Crusher is in fifth place and now he's about to be able to catch up on it because gonna keep a good eye check onto the penalty whenever it's gonna be able to occur. Now, this is gonna get very tougher and, oh, looks like he just definitely very got spin out. Now, that might be receiving another pen penalty by one second. Now, this is gonna get pretty rough on this challenge, so looks like that was definitely, might be very tougher on the wrist. Now, this is all about racing survival, but this is gonna be able to take a little bit more time for it, so, Looks like Deadhead 75 420 is in third place. Now it looks like NASCAR Nate is definitely in the lead and this is gonna get everything will be worked harder to be able to keep up on it. Now this is gonna be very risky to be able to take it all. Will might be able to get in. Now looks like just gonna be able to make sure do the best you can because this is gonna be a very struggle race that this is gonna be able to coming in. Now Everything is going to get very challenging for every prototype race car that has the best choice to be able to go in. Because it's all about taking the strong speed that this is going to be able to take and some strong handling that this is going to be able to get careful to get. Now, looks like this is going to be able to get closer to be able to reach up and then this is going to get everything will be worked harder to be able to take the gap distance we might stay on guard that this is going to be able to coming in. All right, third lap is going to be able to go in, and then this is going to get pretty work well that this is going to be able to take plenty much more better chance to be able to take some concentration. We might stay focused to be able to stay on the inside of the track. And this is going to get very excellent, will be well made to be able to perform. Now, looks like currently in fourth place, and then this is going to be quite very excellent that this is going to be able to take Plenty much handling that this is going to be able to going in to start out for it. And oh, looks like Deadhead 75 420 just definitely. Nope, looks like Trinsha Barista has that penalty on it. So looks like that was definitely might be giving a good eye check to see it. Now, looks like this will my consider to be able to have third place. And then until Deadhead 75 420 is about to be able to take second place, we might get there. But this is going to get very work excellent that this is going to be able to stay clean on this race because this is going to get very challenging that this one might have. It looks like one player just left the race and now he's probably able to go for another time for another round for only the same usual effect that this is going to be able to take some time to be able to have another entry open. Now looks like going on in the fourth lap and this is going to get everything will be well lucky to be able to get there. Now looks like this is going to get everything Will might stay on guard until this is going to be able to take plenty much more turns Will might do the inside. Will might get the harder effect Will might get. Well, fortunately that this is going to get very challenging to see how the prototype cars are definitely might be going in. Now, looks like penalty effect worn up. Now, looks like gonna be able to keep resuming in to be able to take one good fast pace race that this is gonna be able to take it all for. Now it's gonna get everything a long hard journey that this is gonna be able to take a lot more speed to get in. Now looks like this is gonna be able to keep coming in for the only two fast drivers to be able to catch up to the first place because looks like the battle of second place is gonna be going in between Trinisa Farisa 96 and Deadhead 75 420. Now, this is gonna get very strong struggle that this is gonna be quite well made to do it. Now, it's gonna get everything we might do better ways to be able to keep the tire check that this is gonna might need to take the pit stop we might go in. Now, looks like this is gonna be able to take that last turn and then going on speed until this is gonna be able to make the fifth lap we might proceed to go in. 
And then this is going to get everything will be excellent made that this is going to be able to take a lot of performance skills that this is going to be able to coming in. And then here we go. Only six more laps to go, folks. This is going to be able to take a little bit long, but the handling struggle that this is going to get very ris risky to be made. Looks like King Sip is about to be able to coming in onto my position and then this is going to be able to take the battle between Porsche and Toyota prototype cars are definitely might be getting well match made struggle to be able to take it in. Now looks like this is going to get everything challenging since the mission challenge for the Porsche 919 hybrid takes on an Interlagos. Now this is definitely might be a very good rivalry race with the Toyota Hybrid that this is going to be able to take it all for any turns to be able to make the moment that counts. Now, looks like this is going to get everything well focused to be made and then just going to be able to stay on guard to be able to take every distance we might get there. But this is going to get very closer to get. The harder it will might be able to do the way it gets. Now, looks like just gonna have to keep well pressuring up and then just gonna be able to going in to take the sixth lap and then NASCAR Nate takes the lead to be able to moving on into the lap number six and this is gonna get everything will be closer to be able to get there because this is gonna get very stronger to be able to take strong distance we might be able to get there shortly to get now looks like this is gonna get everything a little bit harder to be able to make it in and then just gonna have to take one good clear turn to be able to get in. Now, looks like going 10 second gap distance might be able to go longer it gets. And this is gonna get pretty work hard, but this is gonna be able to take a little bit of time. And then, looks like King Sip passes, and now he is on fifth place. And now moving on to fourth place, and now he is gonna be able to take a lot more chances to be able to keeping on going to be able to race for the TSO 50 hybrid and now this is going to get everything will be able to work harder to be able to get there now looks like this is going to get pretty challenging that this is going to be able to make longer ways to be able to get there now even the possible that this is going to be able to take so just going to have to keep going and then keep it well pressured that this is going to be able to take the few remaining of the tire grip that this is going to be able to have Okay, looks like still got nothing time to be able to going into the pit stop, so maybe just gonna be able to give a few more laps that this one might need it. Okay, Deadhead 75420 in the pits. Now he's gonna be able to have to take the tire change that this will be needed to be able to get a good fresh one. Okay, now looks like gonna keep it going and then just gonna stay on track and then this is gonna get everything in. Now back on in to fourth place and now King Zip is in dirt. Now this is going to get everything longer it gets to be able to take the distance we might be able to get closer. Now looks like even that this is going to be able to take long distance that this one might be able to take it all for. Now just going to be able to make it one good turn at a given amount of use so this is going to be able to do the best way so that this is going to be able to stay strong to be able to keep up. Okay. That you're probably able to do better ways to get. Okay, that should probably excellent. And then looks like this is gonna be able to keep it going. So me and King Sip are definitely might be getting a little bit far closer to get there because this is gonna be able to take the distance. We might be able to, have to save a lot of grip that this will might need to be able to call out for a pit stop. And then. This is going to get everything we might get there approaching. And then this is going to be able to keep going and then this one might be able to resume the run until this one might have three more laps to go. And this is going to get everything will be ready to be able to take for one continuing race that this is going to be able to take on hold that this is going to be able to get stronger to get. Right. Looks like this is going to get ready and this is going to be able to get pretty well focused to be able to get there. Take plenty of grips and then just going to take it nice and slow and then recover. Alright, now looks like 
this is going to get everything a little bit tighter to be able to get there because staying on fourth place is going to get everything well challenging and then this is going to get everything well closer to be made okay now looks like this is going to get pretty excellent and very good because any other top four remaining drivers have definitely might be going fast to be able to keep it up on it so takes a lot of strong grip we might be doing well but it takes plenty of pressure that this is going to be able to have to take it in that this is going to get everything closer to be made now looks like this is going to be able to have to wait for a pit stop time that this is going to be able to call out for now looks like nothing else is okay but this is definitely might be pretty good to be able to resume for this race because this is going to get everything we might get everything stronger to get now on to the night lap this is going to get pretty well that this is going to be able to take it slow and then just going to be able to work fast to be able to get there. Now this is going to get very excellent that this is going to be able to, have to take plenty more, more speed that this is going to be able to have it all for. Now let's just going to see how happens to see it. But this is going to get everything we might be able to get there because NASCAR 99 is definitely might be continuing on for the lead and then this is going to be able to take on to move on to the 10th lap that this is going to get everything going. One more lap that this will might be able to have his podium to be able to, able to win. Now looks like this is going to be able to take gap distance will might be able to hold the ground that this is going to be able to keep it coming. Now everything is going to get pretty stronger to be made because any T rank drivers that this is going to be able to going in to be able to, have to take the driver rating will might go higher to be increased to take much significant lead that this is going to be able to take it in for. Now looks like even the possible that this is going to be able to have a little bit more duration time that this one might have. Okay, tent lap is going to be able to get closer to be able to get through. Now, only going to have to take one more lap of this race, and then this is going to be it. Now, this is going to get everything well closer to get, folks, because this may be able to take the strong challenge. We might go in, make it faster to be able to make the approach. We might go separately to be able to take everything. Notice that this is going to be able to take plenty much more distance. We might have a good race. We might get. And then it looks like Deadhead is now definitely might be able to have a little comeback that this one might be able to going in currently in fifth place and then whoops looks like ignoring the track limit that this is definitely might be very careful to get this may cost 0.5 seconds of the gap that this is going to be able to get there so you have to be able to use it very wisely carefully because that could be Deadhead's chance that this is going to be able to going in to make the pass Okay, take a good smooth handling turn and then this one might be able to coming in and then this is going to be able to let the path to be able to go in and then he can take fourth place. Now looks like this is going to get everything will be worked hard so just going to be able to use it very wisely to be able to have a strong handling grip that this one might have so next opponent will be able to overtake on my position and this is going to be able to cause amount of gap distance for my get there so just going to be able to use it very wisely and then here we go final lap of the race is on its way now looks like this is going to get pretty harder to be able to get there but looks like just there definitely losing the grip now looks like just going to be able to resume the run and then this is going to be able to get there shortly for it so this may be able to cost for a little bit amount for it, so just gonna be able to take it in and then resume the run until this is gonna be able to take a lot of pressure to be able to keep it well careful to get. The right the right front tires are now definitely might be getting a little bit depleted soon, so this is gonna get everything a little bit closer to be able to get there. Alright, let's just gonna have to keep it nice and slow and then just gonna keep going faster until this is gonna get everything well properly, we might do it in. Okay, just gonna have to take a little bit more handling turns that this is gonna get everything lucky up on it. Alright, looks like NASCAR 899 is about to take the podium and then he has finally done it. He has finally reached first place by the podium and now this is gonna be his win folks. This is gonna be his win. 
and this is going to get very excellent. We'll be able to take a lot of skills with my coming in. Now everything is going to be very challenging that this is going to be able to work faster to be able to keep it up. Now that was a very good challenge on this prototype race and then this is definitely might be brilliant. So looks like that was definitely might be pretty good to see the outcome results because sometimes penalties will be made and every challenge is that this is going to be quite very tougher to be able to get. Well, looks like that was definitely might be pretty good for one good, excellent, strong teamwork because me and Matt M. Patel 2306 uses the same car, so this is definitely might be pretty good to be able to stay strong for one good, excellent race that this is going to be able to take it all for. So, looks like results has been confirmed for having an outcome of this race, and then this is going to be quite very excellent to be able to take the fifth place finish. And then this is going to be quite good to be able to take the best score. Will might get everything raced up that this will might going in. So driver rating increase almost going to be able to reach up on the halfway mark on it folks. And this is going to be one fast race that this is going to be able to go focused. Will might stay focused on the top position. All right. This one might be able to congratulations to NASCAR 99s for the win. And now this is going to be able to have everything. Will my keep it continuing on for this race? So good thing that SR increased skills on the blue is definitely might be going stronger and better we get. So that was definitely might be pretty good to be able to have to stay strong. Will my get everything. We'll keep up on this race. So every racing skills for only a prototype car that we might do the best. Okay, well, just gonna have to put saying none, so. All right, that was a good race. We did a good job to be able to have a lucky moment without taking the pits because that was definitely might be pretty good. So, Looks like this is going to be quite very good to be able to have a race with no pit stop needed. But even if possible, if any drivers have a problem with the handling issues effect, so maybe this is going to get everything we might be able to go in. So, well, good thing that our tires just definitely almost get toast. So, looks like that was definitely might be giving a lot of hard risk we can get. So, good thing that this is going to be quite very good to be able to have, to have a very good race to be able to stay strong and keep it going. So, well, that was definitely like having a lot of more time that this is going to be able to stay strong. Will might be able to keep up with a well pressure on it. So, all wheel drive hybrid cars are definitely might be pretty well fast paced skill for a prototype car board. So, this is definitely might be very excellent. Will might get everything going in by the chance to do it. So five more rounds remaining folks. So looks like we're getting closer to the end. So this is going to get everything will be quite very successful that we did a good job for having a one good group one prototype car race because everything is all about taking a lot of strategy without a pit stop much needed. So this is definitely might be pretty good to be able to take a lot more pressure. We might keep it stronger to get. The harder that this might be able to stay strong with a grip amount until even the tires will be went low on depleted because it's going to be very difficult if we might be able to take the risk. So just going to be able to keep it going and then this is going to be able to have to get everything ready for the next round of the race. So. This is going to get pretty challenging if we might be able to be ready for the best one to be able to have to go hard on this challenge. So everything is competitive. Always going to have to stay strong for having a one good tough race we might have to get. All right, folks. Glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and bell for notification upload. And the links on the description down below if you want to see more. I'll be see you guys next time for continuing on on the Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sport, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay cool.